Hey, we're back. This is Bunny Flocks. I figured it was time now for an OSCP update. Uh, if my calculations are correct, this is week 23 or 24 or 22. I'm going to go with 23. Um, so confidence has greatly increased exponentially with uh, my understanding of material. Um, I lost access to the labs 10 days ago, two weeks ago, something like that. And I don't plan on, on re-upping on lab time until the middle of February. Uh, my, my plan is to do a 60 days, uh, middle of February. So that puts, puts that ending at the in, in mid-April, um, just in time for my test, which is scheduled for April 12th. If you didn't know, I scheduled the test April 12th, I think 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. Um, so I'm excited about that, regardless how I feel at, at that time. Uh, I'm just going to take it, uh, whether I pass or not. Hopefully I pass. I understand, you know, most people take it a couple of times or three times before they pass. So I'm perfectly fine with failing it one time at least just to get a better understanding of how the test feels and all that jazz. But um, as far as my confidence, I am understanding a great majority of the material. Um, my methodology has solidified a little bit better. Um I'm finding that I'm able to root boxes faster. I still don't have a huge number of boxes, but I'm I'm learning the the methods and the steps, and I'm getting faster at some of the things that I used to get stuck at. For instance, <coughs> I used to uh, that was weird. I used to basically after the end map scan of a box, um, if it was anything outside of port 80 or port 22 or FTP, I would be totally stuck and not know what steps to take, what to do. I would draw total blanks. Even after those three ports, so those, you know, those common ports, looking around and poking around a bit, um, maybe finding something, a string to pull or whatever, I would still draw blanks. So a lot of my struggles in the beginning was pulling blanks, not even necessarily knowing what to Google or what to research or what to what to look for, but now that I'm finding, even when I, I see a new service or a port or I'm learning, you know, I see something that I haven't seen before, I kind of, I'm getting faster at looking up or looking looking up the service or looking for an exploit using search exploit, using uh, the, CVE da the CVE database or the exploit database or, um, you know, the search function in Metasploit even though I know we're not, we, we can't use Metasploit for a long exam, um, I'm finding it easier to find exploits uh, quickly. So <coughs> my confidence has improved. Um, I'm also back on Hack the Box. I, I rooted a couple of machines this past month. I know that's not great numbers, um, but again, even with Hack the Box, I'm noticing my confidence and, and speed of Rooting, my methodology has increased, my confidence has increased. Even if I get stuck on something, I at least know, I at least have an idea of what I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to accomplish versus being clueless. So naturally, that's due to my studies and uh, you know, spending time and uh, you know, sitting in front of the, you know, the computer and, and studying, reading, and all that. Um, something that I am still struggling with since week one or week zero, um, and this is more so just me personally, but finding time. So it's like this. So when I when I find a, a window of time and sit in front of the computer, when I find a window of time and sit in front of the computer and I, I can actually hack for a few hours, an hour, two hours or whatever, it can easily turn to four or five or six. And I'm actually having fun doing it. So it's like I'm there and I, I block out this time and I could sit there and lose myself, right? But then other times where either the motivation is low or um, something's happening, you know, I'm watching a movie or I'm playing games or whatever, or, or you know, I come home from work and I'm tired, I don't want to do anything. So I, I, I have to get better at time management, and I think that's across the board. I think a lot of people struggle with that, actually dedicating time every day um, whether you work, 
after work to sit in front of a computer or even weekends to do eight, ten hours on a weekend. So I, I know I could do a lot better or I have to get better with time management. Um, and hopefully I can get better. You know, uh, again, my, my confidence has increased. My time to root boxes has has minimized. And I'm, I'm getting faster at compiling thought processes and understanding what it is I got to do. Even if I'm still struggling with accomplishing or exploiting something, I know I'm in the right. I know I'm close and I know I just have to keep going versus being clueless as, as if what I'm doing is even close to what, you know, may root the box. Um, so so that's where I am, week 23. <coughs> um, I figured, again, I figured it was time for an OSCP update. It's, it's been a while. It's been five weeks. Um, so, I, so the last box, well, I can't, I'm not going to talk about the boxes, but I'll put it this way. The last box I was working on in the lab before I lost access was a file bypass upload. Uh, basically, you have to upload a file to a web application. It had controls to prevent uh, certain files. And so that's the last thing I was working on. Did a lot of research. Tried a lot of things. For some reason, I can't figure out how to get... Well, I'll put it this way. I figured out how to get the file uploaded. But before I lost access, I was stuck on trying to execute the file. Um, so when I get access back, that, that'll be the first thing I jump back onto um, for that. Um, but it's fun, you know, it's definitely fun learning. As far as Hack the Box, you know, I'm, uh, if you want to follow me on Hack the Box, I'm still a script kitty, um, but I'm gaining points towards hacker status. Uh, again, you know, it's still a learning process. I'm still learning, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I'm getting faster. I'm happy that I'm learning more. I'm happy that I have a thousand times more understanding of pen testing, of ethical hacking, of attacking a box than I was in August when I started this. So that's definitely a plus. Um, if you recall, if you saw my first video, I wanted to do this, these these vlogs to document my process, maybe one day watch it, you know, inspire other people to do the same or inspire people to take the OSCP. So that's why I'm doing this. So hopefully that's working out for everybody. Um, if you're watching my videos and you're getting inspired, uh, I appreciate you watching. Hopefully I can continue to inspire you guys. Um, but that's where I am now, week 23. Uh, I'm going to stay on Hack the Box for the next month. I'm going to keep reading my books. Obviously, I'm going to go again back for pen test plus. My goal is to obviously do it before OSCP, um, just as an extra stepping stone, as you know, something to put on my resume or just another accolade to have. Um, I did fail it the first time. If you saw that, it is what it is. Every you know, nothing you can do about that. Just keep on going, keep on moving forward, and uh, let's see what else. I'm looking forward to once I get these these certifications and my my understanding of this process and methodology is more solidified. I'm looking forward to looking for a pen test junior or a you know any type of pen test. Um, I'm excited about that process to interview and all that because I feel like I feel like I'm a good interviewer um, as long as I understand what I'm interviewing for and I understand the material. So. I'm actually looking forward to that later this year, um, you know, looking for something more in the field. So <clears throat> that's all I have. This is week 23, OSCP. I know I'm taking my time. I apologize if you've been waiting for a status update. I'll keep you posted. I promise you I'm working on it. Um, in either, any regard, I want to thank you guys for tuning in, watching Liking, sharing, subscribing. I appreciate you guys. And I'll keep you guys posted. And I'm out. Thanks.